um, Death Sizer, um, Super King, Super King uh, prototype. Because as said in the manga, Daigo is one of the um, legendary bladers. I think he's the 14th legendary bladder. But yeah, let's start. First, let's pick the layer base. So I picked three layer bases. First is Tempest, the Tempest layer base. The reason I picked the Tempest layer base is because it has the bound gimmick. I mean, like the, the scythe gimmick seen on Killer Death Sizer, like his god evolution. Do you remember the god? His gimmick where like he he like um when it's pushed back and then after a few hits it goes up front and it just just like adds more attack power. So that's why I'm using the Tempest layer base. The next is um, the Varian layer base. The reason I picked the Varian layer base is because its color is very reminiscent to the right or left side of Death Sizer. Death Sizer. Like, he, they, oops, it's raining. So, um, so yeah, um, so that's why I picked the Varian layer base. The reason I picked the the first layer base is because it actually has like the the kind of um contact points on dark depth sizer where it where half of it is white and half of it is black it it has very good led like the dark depth sizer but it was illegal in tournaments and paired with revolve so uh, so because of weight purposes i'm going to be picking the tempest layer base because because it's it's the best layer base in the three in my opinion so next we will be using a i mean we will be picking a chip so here are the chips that i'm going to use so that i'm going to pick from so let's start with lucifer the reason i picked lucifer is because it has a very reminiscent color to the Death Scyther family, which is black and purple, just like the variant base. So, so, and it's, it's Lucifer. He's a demon. I mean, Satan. I don't know. I don't, like, I don't know much about that. But yeah, the Lucifer chip. So, next is the Valkyrie chip. The, the reason I picked Valkyrie is, um, Killer Death Scyther had, like, eyes and it, it, it's a warrior so why not use it so next is the first base because the first base like has these flames or something these flames that is very reminiscent to um, Death Scyther when he's like using the special move or something so so because I'm biased on the Uranus chip we're going to use the Uranus chip for this so yeah, I'm going to use the greenish chip. So so far, let's just put the other side on an ultimate mode and the other one on bound mode. So yeah, this is our first la our layer for now. Um, Tempest Uranus. So, next, we will be picking a chassis. So these are the chassis that I'm going to pick from. So let's start with the 1B chassis. The reason I picked the 1B chassis is because like its color is very reminiscent to Killer Dead Sizer. But the problem is it's a 2D chassis, a defense chassis. So I'm not gonna use this problem. Next is the 1A chassis. So but um because this is a combo battle and two parts are from Tempest Dragon already. I'm not gonna use the one A chassis because that would be just um stop stop Tempest Dragon. Next is the one A chassis. The reason I pick one A is because um because it's it kind of looks like vortex on like vortex on um color death sizer because the vortex frame had like these three points and 1a is just a good chassis if you want to spin steel and led and all that stamina stuff but but 
one of the reasons that I picked the chassis, this chassis mainly, is because um, it has rubber. So if it's tall enough, it can hit the player base of the first plate or the big bleed. It's um, bad news. So yeah. Next is the one B chassis. I picked the one B chassis for one reason. I mean two reasons. First of all, the reason I picked the um, one B chassis is because it has weight. It has good weight, weight and burst resistance. Second is it's it's points. It's contact points. If you align the the chassis correctly, it will. Uh, wait. Oops. Make sure you like put the chip um, right. So, so one of the reasons I picked the one B chassis is because if you line it up right, look, look like the points like line up. So it will do. Uh, it's very reminiscent to like that size. There's like parts because it mainly lines up with the blade so that it can deal huge amount of damage. So I'm probably gonna be using. The one B chassis, so yeah, chassis and layer done. Finally, let's pick the driver. So I have three drivers to pick from. The first, the the first reason I I picked um, the ultimate reboot is because it has, I mean, this ha this this is a fake, so it has no rubber. But the real one had rubber, so let's just assume this has rubber. So. So the, the, the ultimate reboot has like these the, the, the um, semi flat tip and a flat tip which has rubber and guess who, guess which tip has rubber the extreme and the hunter hunter um, hunter uh, hunter driver so yeah that's why I picked it but I'm not gonna use this probably I don't know let's just see the next is the evolution drivers Pro mainly because um, it has good burst resistance and it's it's very uh, it's I think it's like this palm material but I think this is good um, drivers let's just assume this red part is rubber so yeah it's a very aggressive driver finally we'll be using I mean like, we'll be picking from uh, destroy dash the reason I picked Destroy Dash is it's a good LED driver. If you don't know what LED is, it's just like the how much how much the driver drifts in the end of battle. But yeah, it has good LED, good stamina, good attack power, and burst resistance, which I need for all the um, babe for all of the attack combos I'm using because most of these have um, weak teeth. But if we make the prototype strong, too strong, it would be like it would be really unfair so, to the other baby. So if this, um, so if we lose, I'm probably gonna switch to destroy dash. So I'm going to use the evolution driver. So this is our full combo. Let's just put it because of um, gimmick purposes. So. Tempest, Tempest, uh, Uranus, Evolution, 1B. So yeah, let's pick their opponents. So these are the Beyblades I'll be um, using. Um, Heaven Pegasus, Dread Bahamut, and the Master Bahamut combo. I only have like, I only have um, one Dread Bahamut. So yeah, after it, after Tempest, Tempest, Uranus's combo. I'm going to switch the comp the the chip. So we'll be using a standard big play, uh, big play battle. Um, first the three points, first count as one point, and all the other stuff cost one one point. First cost two. So yeah, let's start. First battle: Heaven Pegasus versus um, Tempest Tempest Uranus. Awakened already? I think this um, Heaven Pegasus will probably win this with a um, 
stamina, stamina fit. Oh, and Tempest, Tempest, Uranus won that one. Next round. Go. Good hits, good hits, good hits. But I'm, yeah, the Tempest doing some like ultimate, the ultimate move came back to the bounce. And Tempest, Tempest, Uranus. That for Tempest Terrainus, so 2 to 0. So I'm going to go. Oh shoot! I'm going to take the front of it! What? No, the pain! No! And a burst finish! A burst finish! So, um, 4 to 0. So, Tempest Tempest Terrainus wins. Next battle is Dread, ba Dread Bahamut, 7 Wall. Atomic. Do not go. go. So that was a clear snipe, but it's still a knockout finish. So Tempest Uranus one. Dread Bahamut, 1, 2, 1. Next round. Three don't go. Oh, the Corona. Always be careful if you are using the long tray. Tempest Uranus won that one, so 2-2-1 two, two, one. One, uh, Match point, don't go Don't go First hit by Tempest Dragon Up around, oh! That, wa that was uncalled for So, um, Tempest Tempest Uranus got that one So, 3-2-1 Final round is Master Master Baham Let me just change the parts so here is our combo. Master Bahamut Zero Wallberry. It's a good combo if you use it right. It has poor burst resistance, but I know how to fix that. So because Tempest Uranus only ha well, I mean Tempest Uranus has poor LED and very is a god at LED. If it loses a lot, I'm going to change the driver to um, destroy dash. So people two. Good hit by man, by um, Tempest, Uranus, and we, um, Tempest, I mean Master Bahamut is probably gonna win this because he has the upper hand, he has wall and bearing which is, which are like, temp, like, um, competitive parts, so Master Bahamut won that one, 1-0, one 3-1, Master Bahamut almost bursted, see? It almost bursted, so... Final match point! Oh, darn it! That, he's gonna lose, obviously, because it, it it's circling around, wasting its stamina. So, I'm probably gonna change the part to destroy dash, so... Yeah. Master Bahamut will win this one 100%. Good 
like what are the odds this uh, yeah so, so i'm going to change the combo to master i mean tempest is um destroy dash what is to give it a kind of, of um, advantage or something more like to um oh na corona that was a good hit it's night from above. I'm, I'm guessing this will burst, but every but a Beyblade battle is always unexpected. So yeah, this will probably lose. Oh, and that was a close one, but Master Baham got that one. So, so one to zero. Oh, Oof, that was that was a massacre. What the smash power on this thing is phenomenal. But still, wh why would you do that, Master? Jesus Christ! One to zero. Oh, no. Oh, and Master Bahamut won that one. So, yeah. I think that's... Mulan! Naghintay ka ba? Mulan It's a prank! So, um, the last battle is Brave Valkyrie. So, if you made it to this part of the video, please, um, comment dirt on uh, the comment section below. Please subscribe if you haven't. So, yeah. Final round. So, I'm going to change Destroy to Evolution. And the evolution on this is my Chosy Valkyrie's evolution. Look, it's 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 flat and dirty. Jesus Christ, it's one year old. Wow, that happened so fast. I think the battle ended in one second or three. But so um, Tempest Temp Tempest Uranus one to zero. Oh shoot! Oh god! What in the? So the smash, the smash ability, like the aligned, aligned wings, really helped it knock out um brave Valkyries. So two to zero. You don't go. Shoot. So, um, if y'all want some battles with this and Brave Valkyrie, please, um, subscribe. I'm almost at 150. If I get 200 on my birthday, I'll do a tournament, a baby tournament. The winner will get 100 pesos alone. So, yeah. That's about it for the video. Um, all I want to stay, say is stay safe, stay positive, and see you on the next video. Which is the Lord Spriggan unboxing given to me by... Fedu Jazz, so yeah, bye, thanks for watching.